from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 22nd, 2020. An El Al plane carrying a U.S.-Israeli delegation took off from Tel Aviv and touched down in Morocco today. The first flight from Israel to the Arab country, who agreed to normalize ties with Israel last week. The plane bore the flags of the U.S., Israel, and Morocco, as well as a Hamsa, a good luck symbol in Israel and in Arab countries, with the words, Peace, Shalom, Salam. Images of the flags also adorned face masks used by some of the team, including worn by Israel's National Security Advisor, Mayor Ben Shabbat, who led the Israeli part of the delegation and who is the son of Moroccan-born Jews. The U.S. group is led by senior White House advisor Jared Kushner. The teams are meeting with Moroccan officials, including with King Muhammad VI, and signing a number of agreements in the areas of aviation, tourism, health, water, agriculture, and others. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke to the delegation as they were en route to Morocco this morning, calling the trip an additional breakthrough for peace, true peace with mutual respect out of strength. Israeli Foreign Ministry spokesman Lior Hayat noted that this was more of a resumption of ties with Morocco as low-level diplomatic relations were established in 1994. He said the change right now is this is a renewal of relations that is meant to lead to their upgrading. The trip is a quick one with the delegation set to fly back to Israel overnight tonight. Well, the IDF is beefing up security in the West Bank, this after the murder of an Israeli woman, Esther Horgan, on Sunday, believed to have been carried out by a Palestinian terrorist. A search for the suspect continues. The IDF tweeted, in accordance with our ongoing situational assessment, we will reinforce troops in Judea and Samaria today to enhance the defense of communities and routes in the region. Our mission to defend Israeli civilians never stops. Horgan was laid to rest this morning. The House of Representatives last night passed a massive spending bill, which includes urgent coronavirus relief, passed by Congress soon after, as well as funding for education, security grants for nonprofits, and for programs like the Middle East Partnership for Peace Act, spearheaded by Jeff Fortenberry, Chris Coons, Lindsey Graham, and Nita Lowy, who tweeted about this, saying the legislation supports people-to-people -people exchanges and economic cooperation between Israelis and Palestinians in order to foster engagement, peaceful coexistence, and reconciliation. Lowy, who is Jewish, also offered thanks to those who had advocated for this effort, including the American Jewish Committee and pro-Israel lobby AIPAC. Lowy is chairwoman, the first chairwoman of the House Appropriations Committee, and she spoke proudly of the bill, her final legislation, she said, in Congress, as she is retiring after 32 years in office. Nita Lowy gave her outgoing remarks to Congress yesterday. To my colleagues from both sides of the aisle, across the country, and the political spectrum, our work together is a testament to the enduring values of public service and of a collective commitment to better the world. You inspired me to be a better legislator, and I am grateful. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, December the 22nd. At 7 o'clock, Gil Troy discusses the future of Zionism in America from the 2019 American Zionist Movement Biennial Assembly. At 8, the question of whether Israel's coalition government is on life support, discussed by Daniel Roth Avneri and Dr. Nachman Shai with Zach Shapiro of the Miriam Institute. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with the international spokesperson for the Jewish community of Hebron, Yishai Fleischer. At 10, Cantor Aaron Ben Susan and classical guitarist Gerard Aderi reunite for the first time in over 10 years to perform as the noted band Sons of Sfarad. 
performing original Sephardic music and classic Jewish melodies. That's from the Hampton Synagogue. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 22nd, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well. <laughs>